Switch wiring is a complex and potentially hazardous task that requires proper knowledge, skills, and tools. If you are not qualified or experienced in electrical work, do not attempt to wire switches yourself. You could cause personal injury, property damage, fire, or electric shock. Always consult a professional electrician before wiring switches and follow the manufacturer's instructions and safety guidelines. Two-way switches allow you to control the light from two different locations. They have three terminals, the common terminal and two traveler terminals, L1 and L2. Each time the switch is operated, L1 and L2 will change over, directing the flow of current. When dealing with electricity, it's important to follow safety guidelines to prevent electrical hazards. Before starting any wiring work, turn off the power to the circuit at the main electrical panel and apply lockout, tag out. Use proper tools and equipment. Wear personal protective equipment, PPE, such as safety gloves and goggles. If you are uncertain or feel uncomfortable handling electrical work, it's best to seek professional assistance. There are several ways to go about two-way switch wiring. By watching this video to the end, you can relate to multiple switch wiring in the future. However, based on your location, there are different names for these switches with different wiring color coatings, but the working principles remains the same. So now, identify the two locations where you want to install the switches. One of the switches will be connected directly to the light fixture, while the other switch will control the power supply. With the main breaker off and lockout tag out, connect the brown wire to L1 terminal of the first switch and to the L2 terminal of the second switch. Between the two switches, connect L2 of switch 1 and L1 of switch 2. At the light fixture location, connect the brown wire from the second switch common terminal to the live terminal of the light fixture. At the first switch location, connect the live brown wire coming from the power supply to the common terminal. Connect the blue wire coming from the same power supply to the neutral terminal of the light fixture. Finally, to make the circuit safe, connect the green or yellow earth wire to the earth terminal of both switches and the fixture. Double check all connections to ensure they are secure and properly insulated. Turn on the power supply at the main breaker panel and let's analyze the flow of electricity to the light fixture between switch 1 and 2. With the switches in the position shown, the electricity will flow from the first switch L1 terminal to L2 terminal of switch 2 where the circuit is broken. If we change switch 1 position, the electricity will flow from the common terminal wire through L2 of switch 1 to L1 of the second switch through the light and back to the neutral wire. If we now change the second switch position, the connection is broken and the light goes off. Electricity flow path changes. If the first switch position is changed again, redirecting flow path from the common terminal to L1 of the first switch through L2 of the second switch to the light fixture live terminal and back to the neutral wire. And each time we flip switch 1 or switch 2, depending on the direction of flow of electricity, it is either the light goes off or on. A quick reminder on this topic. Always turn off the power at the circuit breaker before working on electrical wiring. In a two-way lighting circuit, you have two switches in different locations, controlling a single light or set of lights. This setup allows you to turn on or off the light from either switch. Familiarize yourself with the terminals. The live wire connects to the common terminal, L1 and L2 are the traveler terminals, connecting to the second switch. Remember, mastering the art of wiring switches not only illuminates your home, but also brightens your understanding of electrical systems. So, let your creativity spark and light up your space with precision and safety. Stay switched on to more knowledge and never dim your curiosity. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more helpful content. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestion, feel free to leave them down below. 
And as always, click the bell icon to receive notification alert and stay updated.